Hey what's up guys, so it's Toast Adventures here again with another video and I'm going to give, um, well I just took first thoughts about the um, VRS uh, F slash A 18E Super Bug or otherwise known as Super Hornet. Anyway so I think this w uh, aircraft was released in about 2010 and it's probably the PMDG of the military jets. It's well known and it's meant to be a very good aircraft or it just needs very good quality. Personally I'm not exactly a massive fan of the F-18 but hey I thought I might as well get give it a look because hey it's worth it. So anyway so the external is very good quality and you can see by the modeling that everything's good. Animation all good. Flaps and I mean it shows the flight control system as well is very advanced in the play. You can do different loadouts so in this case I just have all tanks but I've only got 25% of fuel for the sake of it. It's got about 40 leveries including the expansion, an amazing sound pack, so if I just put on the brakes, which I think I have, but the rudder's just stopped, uh, I just plug it in and then take it out again, hang on. Right, there we go. So, just put the brakes on, there we go. There you go. You can really hear the whine of the engines, which is great. And you know, having a good sound pack is great. So now you can see with the elevators how the pilot looks around, rudder, and just other effects as well. Anyway, into the cockpit, which is probably the most important part. You know, it's great to know, and for some reason the gear went down um, while I wasn't looking. It's got the whole set, accurate gauges, and basically the whole lot. It shows how modern the aircraft is features like you know you can change the color of the heads up display if you wanted to I don't know why but yeah you can if you want it's got radar pretty much every single function you could ever really dream of like the usual HSI then oh it's just fuel basically engines uh, also does the bit test so it tells you whether the aircraft's in good condition it can have the radar, I haven't looked into the manual properly, but there's a lot of functions you can definitely do. It's got a little radar over there, the usual ADI, uh, different things like this, so that you can kind of see in the dark, cool stuff like that. Plane, feels quite heavy, but it's great, and it pretty much follows every single bit of realism you want, really. Um, and, you know, you can set fly uh, flight plans, so it's very advanced to fly. Uh, FPS on this aircraft, it's kind of heavy, but as it goes for this level of quality it's pretty good so I'll just proceed to take off I mean I'm pretty light so it won't be hard to take off but hey I haven't flown this plane that much right, put gear up not just a flap so if I look out here's the aircraft trucking along as usual you can see the speed is pretty good FPS is great but I think I've also got shadow in them, so it's not perfect anyway so aircraft automated won't let you go past the uh, maximum G limit uh, it shows it portrays the plane very well kind of how it feels you know it's quite an important thing especially considering this is meant to be well it's meant to be an, uh, an accurate representation it's got G limit so right now I'm not going beyond 7 G's no matter how hard I try, try, especially since if you watch the elevators, it doesn't go the furthest it can go. And you can tell that. It's got the sluggish feeling. I mean, personally, I don't like the feel to this control. It doesn't feel super responsive. I have to compensate a lot, but still, it is still pretty responsive. So it's not the worst in the world. But other aircraft like the F-18. Sorry, not the F-18. Uh, F-15 by Milvis kind of give more comforting feel. But honestly, I don't know what's more realistic because the RS F-15, for instance, feels quite heavy and sluggish. And apparently that's better, but I don't know. Heads-up display feels pretty accurate. You could do other features like this. There's, a, there's good aircraft configuration manager that they offer, which is great to use. And I think it's really good that they included it. Um, especially, well, just mainly because of the fact that you can choose different payloads like weapons and Amongst other things, you can set it so it's automatically cold and dark. You can set uh, fuel tankers. Um, of course, one of the most amazing things about this aircraft as well is that 
or at least what VRS has to offer is it's got the TAC pack expansion if you so chose to. I don't have it installed currently, I have it on my other computer uh, for use and I think it's awesome. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot to do with it. Yeah, the heads up display as you can see is pretty accurate and for some reason the gear won't go down. I think antisocial for whatever reason. Um, and you know it's got accurate um, accurate kind of heads up display, angle of attack. I mean the crew who made this did a really good job of it basically and you could tell by the modeling and how much time they spent on it and all the kind of accurate stuff they want. Or sorry, well what they want to set out to achieve. I believe they also made an FS9 model a while back, but of course that's not that's not as good as this one. So yeah, because I mean this model's for winners, not FS9 losers. I'm sure I'm sure someone will argue about that, but still, it's it's a great plane and it's really nice that they took time to model this. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a real shame there aren't enough military jets in FSX, but you know, once the TAC pack comes out, it should really encourage people to use it. And I mean, the F-18E is a complex aircraft. The Super Hornet family in general is complex, you know. It, it really, well, it's got all these fancy computers fitted in it, and you know, so it really shows itself up against other aircraft. So, yeah, basically, it's, um, they did a really good job. It's really good knowing that they spent the time that was actually needed, unlike other companies which who shall not be named. I'm sure you can think of a company if you're an FSX user who would do that. But yeah, they actually spent time doing this. It was good to know. Made me happy. And it's probably the highest, well, the most acclaimed jet of uh, Flight Simulator X out of the military kind of scene. So, you know, they can take a pat on the back and, you know, they're pretty much well aware of it. And, you know, now that they're releasing uh, TAC Pack as well, or while well, they have released it, and then the SDK, they'll really show themselves up. But I mean, for now, you know, they've got this lovely F-18, which is a joy to fly in. They should be honestly proud of themselves that they got this jet working. And that was unexpected. But anyway, yeah, so there you have it. That's the jet for you. I uh, kind of screwed that landing up. But I haven't spent that much time flying this aircraft. It's well worth buying. It's one of those purchases you must do. Because it's just such a good jet to fly. Um, anyway, um, hopefully you enjoyed. I uh, appreciate it if you did. I'm not going to do all that gay stuff like, like it and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah. There you go, it's so the F-18E and I was flying at Aerosoft just to Gibraltar because it's a cool place to fly. Thanks, bye.